Hello everybody, this is Tim from Mainly Muscle Cars along with cameraman Ken. And today we are looking at a little Bronco here. This is a 1970 Bronco, uh, 302 four-speed. Now this is a four-speed top loader style, kind of like the Mustang. Uh, Strope is kind of the one that made this one uh, famous in the Broncos. So you can shift this four-speed as fast as you want. So it's not like the clunky uh, four-speeds with you know super low first. This is very, very street-friendly four-speed. Um, really neat truck. It's got a rebuilt 302. Um, it's supposed to have very low miles, right around 1,000. Unfortunately, we do not have the receipts for that, but it uh, gives every appearance of a very clean motor. Uh, runs excellent. Mild performance cam, um, cast iron intake on it, uh, factory four barrel Ford intake manifold. Uh, just a really good running setup. Of course, it's 9 inch in the back, Dana 44 in the front. Uh, about a 3.5 gear in this one, so very, very street friendly truck. Um, happy on the freeway at you know 70 miles an hour. Um, easily, easily can do that all day long. Um, obviously, the paint's in really good condition. Um, you know, while I wouldn't call it show, it is definitely very nice. Um, you can see on there it has the 17 inch fuel wheels. I like those. It has that simulated bead lock. Those are not bead lock wheels, um, so they are DOT approved. Uh, brand new 35 inch Federal tires on it. Um, it's got dual shocks up front, uh, nice lift on it. It's probably about a uh, two and a half inch, three inch lift, and it does have a slight body lift on it as well, so it actually clears that uh, intake manifold up front. Uh, Tom's Bronco has got the Impact Series front bumper on it, along with an 8,500 pound uh, super winch. It's a brand new winch on there. Uh, really nice looking Bronco. It's been Rhino line throughout. I mean, even the hood was done, uh, helped keep some of the scratches and the bugs on there. Inside the tub has been done. It has the uh, Wolf's family cage in it. It has the Tom seats in the front, three-point harnesses. Um, just a nice, nice uh, truck. Just kind of good all around. We'll go ahead and jump in and we'll take it for a test drive. As Ken has a hard time getting in there, everybody. A little stylish pants. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, uh, like we were talking about earlier, it has this uh, the the family cage in it, um, and that has all been rhino lined as well. The floors were done, and then the front area has been carpeted. Um, in back, it of course has not been carpeted. Kind of a nice bed area. If you want to take that seat out, you can. Um, dash has been rhino lined as well. It's got a nice Clarion CD player in there. Basically, hit a button, it folds forward. You put your CD in, but it is MP3 setup, so just basically plug that in or your iPod, you're good to go. Um, again, it's got the uh, Hearst setup, like the Strope style four speed. It's got the cool 44 Magnum setup for your uh, transfer case there as well. So, really neat rig. So just a nice mild cam, so really, you know, it's got good low end setup. That's that's what this one was done for. It's basically built to be a good driver. Uh, heater setup works fine. It's got an emergency brake setup that they kind of made a neat little extension off the side of it. So your emergency brake works. You gotta reach behind the bar there and you can go ahead and take it off. So we're gonna make our first jump of the day. Uh, but it has this soft top on it, a uh, really nice soft top. The sides unzip as does the rear window. So you kind of get that safari top set up. So basically you can unzip the sides if you want, or you can unzip the back window. And they unzip completely. It's not one of those tops, the cheap ones, where you can just unzip the sides and you have to roll it up. You can actually take these all the way off. And it's easy. But a nice note to the exhaust, uh, this top loader transmission just shifts awesome. And it's a nice close ratio, so if you do find yourself out in the sand, you're not going to have that huge gear split like the factory three speeds do. Uh, you know, I think this truck is way too nice to take out in the mud. You know, out in the sand, I would, you know, this would be great because you're not going to, you know, be beating it against logs or, you know, dragging it through uh, a slurry or anything, but just a really neat truck. But all the turn signals work, all the gauges work. It's just a good solid rig. I mean, you could get in this one and drive it anywhere. Suspension is nice and compliant. It does not beat you up at all. But power is good. Um, it wasn't built to be a race truck or anything like that. Uh, just to have some good low end power. And with those three, five gears, you can drive this thing anywhere. You know, it is definitely comfortable enough, you know, low enough RPM to 
game on the freeway where you can cruise at you know 60 or 70 miles an hour and not worry about wearing your rig out. But we've got lots of good Broncos right now. Uh, this is just a really good example right here. If you have uh, you know any questions on this one, please give us a call. Our number is 360-863-2241. Or you can visit us at our website at MainlyMuscleCars.com. But again, on this one, uh, nice rebuilt 302, top loader four speed, uh, brand new Tom's power disc brakes on the front. It also has the quick ratio of steering on the front with the Saginaw style pump. Uh, just lots and lots to go over on this one. So uh, please take a look at the pictures, or if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call or an email. Thanks.